Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Chat GPT app that you can install in Windows and you could also install it from Mac OS and for your smartphone as well. So if you go to their website under ChatGPT slash download, you could see there is a mobile version for iOS and Android. Then you have the Mac OS and Windows version and you could also get it from the Microsoft Store. And actually when you click on the link for Windows, it'll take you here. And when you click on this, it'll actually download it from the Microsoft Store. So then once you have it installed, you can find it in your apps here. And if you do Alt Spacebar, it'll kind of open up a mini window here. And if you click this guy here, open in main window, it'll open the full screen version of it. And then you could do your normal things where you could type in your prompts, add attachments, use voice mode, and it has some suggestions here. Click on more for some additional suggestions. You could change your version here if you want to upgrade. And if you click on this here, do a new chat. You could open the sidebar with your chat history. And if you click on the icon here, you could see your GPTs, customize chat GPT. And then go to the settings, a lot of settings here. Let's go over some of the basics here for language. You could archive your chats, delete your chats, log out. Uh, check for updates if you want to change the companion key from alt space to something else. You could do that. Change the theme if you want. Personalization options. Speech options. So if you want to have it talk back to you and you want to use a different voice, you could play some samples. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Then you have some data controls. If you want to manage any shared links you made in the past, export your data, delete your account. Then if you make your own GPTs, you could come here and check out your builder profile. And then we have some security settings if you want to enable multi-factor authentication or log out of all your devices. All right, so it pretty much works the same way as it does on their website. So we'll just put in a sample prompt here. Okay, for an example here, what is the best way to build a birdhouse? And you have some other options down here. If you want to have it read aloud, you can copy it, rate it, switch the model, and so on. And then, of course, you could have it expand on it. So give me more details about the materials needed. Just like that. Okay, so this is a great tool if you use ChatGPT all the time and you don't want to do it via browser and you just like using that alt space shortcut to kind of open up a quick window there where you could type in your prompt. And like you saw in the settings, you could change that to something else if you want. All right, so I will put this page in the description so that we could just click on the link and download the version you want to use and you could take it from there. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>